Oh, hey guys, welcome back to my 2023 makeup inventory videos. We're going to do, um, not mascaras, that was the last one, but I do have an update. I found another mascara that's opened. This is the MAC Lash Dry Shampoo Mascara Refresher. Um, I forgot about it. Um, I guess I was like, do I even consider this a mascara? But uh, yeah, it's a mascara. Um, so yeah, I have eight mascaras open, which is far too many. Uh, but let's move along. We're going to do eyeshadows, all eyeshadows. Um, we are doing all of my single shadows all the way up to my palettes. So this is going to take a little bit. So I would get a snack if you want to. Um, yeah, because this is going to be a long one. So let's start with my single shadows. So first up, we'll talk about my one and only little uh, liquid shadow from House Labs in Glam Attack. And it says it's good for, if that says six months, this has to go. Shoot, I think this says six months. This is going to have to go. Um, okay, so we're getting rid of it. This is going bye-bye, but this is the House Labs eyeshadow in Glam Attack. It's just, it's past the expiration and... Anything like this that's going to be going super close to my eye, I'm, I'm really big on, yeah. And it doesn't smell super great. So, it's time for this to go. Bye. Oh, that's a bummer. We'll count everything at the end of each section. So, um, let's go over single shadows because now I have no liquid single shadows. Let's do my my glitter shadows. I have two of the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadows in Reflect and Foil. Reflect, and I'm not swatching in this video, but Reflect is like a champagne shade. Really pretty. Foil is a gold. And I love them both, and I'm trying to pan them. Um, they are in my current project pan. So I really love those. I have two single eyeshadows from Pat McGrath. They are two different golds. They look very different in the pan, but I assure you they look very different when they are swatched. I have Gold Standard and Enraptured. This is Gold Standard. This is Enraptured. They look identical, and I look crazy, but I swear they are very different. Very different. Um, completely different kinds of golds. So I have two of those, and I have one of the Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadows in Space Cowboy because, of course... So here's Space Cowboy. I feel like mine's getting hard pan. I don't know. I'm, I'm torn. I go back and forth on if I think it's amazing or if I hate it. I don't know. <laughs> All together, I have five single eyeshadows, which that is an, a perfect number. I'm fine with having five. I don't want any more than five, but five is good for me. And I think there's pretty good variety. Besides, I have three golds, though. That's not great. But gold is kind of my favorite, so I don't know. Let's move on to my little quads. I have two of them from Charlotte Tilbury. I would like to only have one quad. Um, or if they're two quads, it'd be two quads from two different brands because you'll see what I mean. I have Pillow Talk and Pillow Talk Dreams. This was right in the middle of when I was buying a whole bunch of makeup. And just spending a lot of money on makeup and I did not need these two palettes. I could have, I would have been fine with Pillow Talk, but this is Pillow Talk here. This is Pillow Talk Dreams. So Pillow Talk and Pillow Talk Dreams. Don't I look like an idiot right now? <laughs> these are so expensive too. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. Besides just buy, buy, buy. I need everything. Um, and I kind of get I kind of get where I feel like I need to have all of something. That's why I kind of put a new roll out for myself. Um, I want to try, unless I really, really, really love the formula and I know that I will use more colors, most of my collection is going to be not multiple products in multiple colors. So I would have to pick one of these to keep. Um, not I'm going to use them up, but you know what I mean, in the future. If I was going to repurchase, I would only be able to repurchase one. Um, so I have to pick my most favorite shade from that product. Because if not, I'll feel like I need them all. 
And then where does that stop? It doesn't stop. So I have two quads. I would like to have one quad or two different quads from two different makeup brands. Next up, let's do my five pans. So my smallest one is from Pat McGrath. They all are. And I love them all. And if I still have them next year, I will be fine with having three little five pan palettes, okay? This is the IX to C Sublime eyeshadow palette. And it has five shades in it. And you can get them all as single shadows as well. Um, at least you could at the time when I was making this video. Um, so really beautiful, really beautiful. You see the shift on this one right here? That's the special shade in this one. Yeah, so really love that palette. Then I have two from the one of the more recent Pat, Pat McGrath launches. I have Nude Allure. And these are the Celestial Nirvana eyeshadow palettes. So these came out like around Christmas or something, right? I have Nude Allure, which looks like this, and it's really beautiful. One of my favorites, and I'm going to use that all the way until it's gone. And my favorite that I would repurchase if I ran out is the Celestial Nirvana eyeshadow palette in Bronze Bliss. And this is my probably current favorite eyeshadow palette. It's just really cool. I wear it for all my gigs. So I'm fine with having three products in that category. Um, let's go into bigger palettes. So let's talk about the ones that are in my project pan first. We have this one from Mishko Beauty. Um, this is just a really generic eyeshadow palette. Um, I don't love it. The only reason I'm keeping it around is because I want to use up this gold shade and I've put a pretty good dent in it. Um, I would like to use this shade up and maybe this shade here, but once those are gone, this palette will be gone. The other one in my project pan, just because I'm bored of it, I'm so bored of it. I'm tired of it. I'm going to, it's going to be in my project pan until April. I'm going to try as hard as I can to use it up. Um, and sorry, my mouth is getting dry. I took a, I took some edibles, <laughs> but, um, this is the Tartlet Toasted palette and it's just boring to me, but my sister would love this palette. Um, so she's coming down in April. So once I'm done with the project pan, I'll see if she wants it because I'm just, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I don't need these shades. I don't know, maybe I'll miss them. I should pull it out of my collection for a while and see if I miss them. Um, then we'll talk about my newest palette and then we'll talk about my top four favorite palettes, which we already mentioned my favorite palette, which is the Bronze Bliss from Pat McGrath. Um, so that's my number one, but we'll talk about my other favorite palettes in a second. My newest one I got from Ipsy is the Aether Beauty. They don't put the names on their palettes, so I don't know what palette this is, but says it's an amethyst crystal palette. So this is what it looks like. It's not really my jam. I like these shades and then like some of these shades. I like this side more than I like this side. And even these two right here, I'm not super into. So I'm gonna use this until April and then I'll probably see if my sister wants it or have her pass it on to someone else. Um, so I know that that's not going to be with me forever. That's just not for me. But I want to get my money's worth out of it. So I'm going to use it as much as I can until she comes down and then see if she wants it. So my third, well, fourth favorite technically is this Trace Leche La Flor de Mexico palette. This is good for 24 months. And I got this in Ipsy. Wasn't sure, you know, I was just like, oh, this is going to be boring. They're not boring, but I just wasn't sure if I was going to use this palette, but this palette is sensational. It's really, really good. And let me turn it down this way, but it's really inspiring to me. I end up with a different look every time I use this palette and it, it really does inspire me in 
make me feel creative. And a lot of my palettes don't do that anymore. So maybe that means I need some more colorful palettes. I'm gonna think about that this year because I've kind of gone to mostly neutrals, but maybe I do need some more color. I don't know, but I love that palette. I think it's a fabulous little palette. Then these two I like evenly, um, the Natasha Denona Glam Palette and the ABH Rose Metals. So let's talk about Rose Metals first. The packaging is stunning. This is definitely one of those palettes that inspires me and pushes me out of my comfort zone a little bit. I love this color story. I lusted after this palette for like a few months and then finally got it because I knew I was going on a no buy. Um, but there's so many different looks that I can make with this palette. I just really, really love it. And I would love that to stay around, so. And also the Natasha Denona Glam Palette is definitely speaking my language. I love it. It's neutral, but it's it's got a lot of grays in it and taupes, which I am really, those are my favorite right now. So this is like a whole palette full of my favorite kind of eyeshadows at the, of the moment. So I would be okay with having, so I said I'd be okay with having three of the little palettes and five big palettes probably. So no more than 10 palettes at any time do I want in my collection. Um, let me see if I have that many now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Ooh, I have 11 right now, but two of them are in a project pan on their way out. So I think that's okay. But yeah, that was all of my eye products. And well, not my eyeshadow sticks, but all of my eyeshadow powders and palettes. Um, that was really fun. So come back to see what's next. What's next? Blush. Blush is next. So come back to see my blush collection. Bye.